Okay, sorry, I, that's the best I can do. <laughs> um, students oppressed, let me see what this means. Oh, students oppressed attain an ability to perceive their existence within the world. Um, importance of existential experience. Okay, so what ends up happening, what ends up happening in this sort of idea of authentic reflection is that the student, right, or the oppressed sees their, um, their existence in the world as meaningful, right? My existence in the world isn't as, as such, right? My existence under the banking concept, my existence is one of oppression, but not only is it one of oppression, it is one in which I've become, I've, my, my existence has been framed, right? My existence has been framed and there is a synonymous relationship between objects in the world and myself, right? Hence, I've become objectified or dehumanized, right? Objectification, dehumanization. Okay, so under the banking concept, um, this practice of domination, what happens is the oppressor creates the framework in which human beings are objectified, right? are dehumanized. In the practice of freedom, it's different, right, because the individual, in and of him or herself, attains the perspective, right, the perception that their existence within the world is meaningful. I recognize, on a different model, right, on this practice of freedom model, I recognize that, okay, yeah, I am being dehumanized, right? I recognize my dehumanization, and instead of evoking horizontal violence, which we've seen before, what I do is I recognize through the use of truth, he's talked about this, right? through the use of truth, not just myself as an alienated individual, but my collective group of oppressed fellow oppressed individuals, we're going to struggle for recognition, right, for sort of equal recognition. We're going to struggle for that equal recognition. Insofar as we struggle for that equal recognition, I immediately recognize, right, I immediately recognize my role within the world, right, uh, within the world, right, my role within the world as an oppressed person, and this is the simplest point, right, my role, my purpose, my purpose, if you will, the meaning of my existence. You know, you always hear that question, what's the meaning of life? I can tell you very clearly what Freire would say, right? Freire would say, um, for individuals who are oppressed, right, for individuals who are dominated, for individuals who are objectified, the meaning, the purpose of your life is to struggle for your liberation. That's the only thing you're here to do, right? The entire meaning um, of, of our existence is this perpetual struggle. Hopefully one day it ends. Um, you know, I'm a little bit more pessimistic, but um, it's the struggle towards recognition, towards liberation, towards regaining um, the humanity that was robbed of us. Um, so I recognize my and my fellow oppressed brothers and sisters um, role in this world, right? As beings within the world, right? The nexus of understanding lets me know that my purpose, that my point, is to liberate myself, but not just myself. I, I need to liberate myself and everyone else um, that's oppressed with me, right? Um, and once you recognize this, it changes the way you act in the world. Remember, the interrelation between um, reflection and action is inextricable, right? It's inextricably bound. You can't separate action from reflection once you get to this stage, right? So if you really, really believe it, if you really believe what Freer is saying, um, and you and you adopt this sort of theoretical model. You cannot be said to adopt the the model and and then not act on it, right? Because I've adopted this model, I'm making the videos. Because I've adopted this model, I'm attempting to get the word out. Because I adopted this model, I've given up on you know just you know making my my regular university salary and you know and charging people for this information. You can have it for free. Get educated. You go spread the word. Let's let's you know. Let's see what can happen. Right. That's it has to follow. It has to follow. It can only happen. That is only possible if we and I recognize our being, our existence as in the world, as a given in the world, and 
that the purpose of this being, the purpose of this thing that we call our life, is to struggle for recognition. 